You know, normally I like change. You like change? Probably not. Lots of people don't. Today, for some reason, I decided I was going to go down the rabbit hole of changing my camera setup. See, I've always used my iPhone, and it's worked all right. But I have a Sony A7R5, like this camera. And I've never used it for video. I'm not really sure why. Immediately after setting it up, I noticed I've got lighting problems. Even though this lens is far and away better than the iPhone's lens, you can see things look a little different. I needed to set up a panel light on my RS3 just for some fill, and it's going to take some CAD skills and, of course, some 3D printing to get that done. So let's jump into CAD real quick. Let's take a look at what we got going on, and then we'll see it in action. Actually, you're seeing it in action right now. You guys will have to let me know if you enjoy these CAD situations where I'm kind of sharing what I did and how I created that solution. If this is something you'd like to see more or less of, just let me know in the comments. So to get started, what I had to do was find an interface connection to the RS3. Recently, I bought a small rig handle. I think we've discussed that before, and it has a connection on it for accessories. So I had to go through and create that. And this is this particular piece right... Oh, shut it off. This piece right here. Now, this took several iterations because, unfortunately, I don't have a 3D scanner and I can't scan the piece. And this is incredibly small and it's kind of hard to measure with calipers. So it was just kind of my best guess at first. And then making a few changes, I finally got it to fit. Now, it has a through hole right here for an SAE size screw. And that it matches up with the hole in the small rig handle. Now, the next thing is that panel, that light panel, I needed to create some kind of holder for it, but also needed it to be adjustable. So, I created this. Now this, the panel just slides in. The controls are on the end of the panel, so I left this side open. That way, uh, I could easily get to the controls. But as you can see, the panel just slides in, and that screw is going to go right here. And it'll set flush, that way the light can go in all the way. I did a little bit of a lip here just to help retain the light, just in case it wanted to fall out. But the reality of it is, is that uh, the geometry was right on on this one. I actually got super lucky, and it just printed beautifully right off the bat. So, this is kind of what it looks like. And even though it is a through hole, and this is technically like a quick disconnection, it that actually doesn't connect disconnect quickly because the screw runs through it and it acts at the pivot point that way I can pivot this mount up or down however I see fit but in order for me to remove it I, I kind of have to remove the screw I think it was probably another way I could have done that I suppose I could have put the like recessed a nut right here and I may do that in the future and then that way I can just slide it on and it's not technically attached. But I feel a little bit better with it being attached just in case I decide to move things around a little bit. So we need to get these things printed up and then we'll get them mounted on the RS3 and see if they work. And there we go. Now that panel printed out quite nicely and connected to the RS3. And as you can see, the light panel just slides right in and even gives us a little confirmation click that it's securely in place. Now, a while ago, I created some grids. I have some Ambifill A1 lights and they are diffused, but unfortunately they're not very directional. So if you turn one on, it just spills light everywhere, kind of like the red one back there. But in our instance, I want the light focused directly on me. So enter the grid. 
I printed those up a while back. It was one of my earlier videos when pretty much nobody was watching. So you can go back and check that out if you want, but I'd recommend you don't. No, those early videos were pretty bad. Not that these are any better, but at least we're getting there. If I would say compared to the past, today is better. And we're just going to keep moving in that direction. Better. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing what I did today. And I'm interested in your comments. What do you think? Like, does it look better? Does it sound better? Is this kind of what you expect in the future? I can tell you this. It's a lot more work. A lot more work. Dragging lights around, getting everything set up, it definitely takes a minute. All right, guys. Later.